Hey guys, welcome back to the Desert Wine Guy. So today I have a product review to do. It's the Visky Crystal Burgundy Glasses. I'm really excited to check these glasses out, guys. I saw them at a winery yesterday, and I just fell in love with them, at least through the box anyway. So, let's get to the review. All right, guys, so here's the box. Uh, again, it's the Visky Burgundy Wine Glasses. And I ended up paying $38 for these at the winery. And I uh, got online today, actually, and saw the actual manufacturer's website, as well as Amazon, are charging $28 for these glasses. So, I'm going to go ahead and open them, and let's check them out together. I'm really excited to see what they look like and how well they're put together. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and take this out of the box. Now, I want to note right here that the box was opened, because just before I purchased it, I wanted to make sure the glasses were in good shape, and I had the retailer open, take it out of the box and flip it open to make sure that they were good. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box and see what we got. And I can tell you guys, when they took this out of the box yesterday, I was really impressed. Now remember, I spent $38 for these glasses. And as I said earlier in the intro, they are available on Amazon and on the actual manufacturer's website for $28. So check that out. Don't those look beautiful? Now these are crystal glasses. Um, they are lead free. So you should have no worries there. So check that out. That is... That is really nice. So let's check out the base here. And uh, there is a slight, well you can feel it very slightly, but uh, nothing really, nothing really significant here. Um, as far as for the leg coming on to the, the foot, this being the foot, this being the leg, um, there's a little lip here, a tiny little lip around here. Again, I've felt a lot more and far more expensive glasses. Now let's see where the leg meets the bowl. This being the bowl, of course. Um, mm, nothing. Nothing really. It's very seamless, okay? Now I don't know, these being crystal, I don't know if they're machine made or, or blown. But I would have to guess at the price that... Uh, they're probably machine made. They are dishwasher safe. On the website it says they are dishwasher safe top rack. But it says care, it says hand wash recommended. And on the box itself it says hand wash recommended. It makes no mention of the dishwasher. So let me check out the lip right here. Fairly thin lip. Um, I'm not really feeling any rolling here. Maybe perhaps a little hair of a bit right inside. But as far as outside, the outside is very smooth. Transitions immediately clear. And uh, as far as clarity, it's very clear. And what I have right now, as you guys can see, I have a light. I don't know if you guys can see this at your angle. Shining down on here. And as I rotate the glass, I don't see any distortions in that reflection of the light, which is nice. Now today, I have a Chardonnay I'm going to be reviewing in a little bit, and that'll be the first, even though this, this glass is specifically made for red, I am going to re be reviewing a Chardonnay in here. So uh, check out how wide that is though. I mean, that's that's pretty nice, okay, and I really love how it comes out, it flares out, and then it flares back in. And the, the purpose of that is so, so the bouquet can actually be trapped and narrowly focused to enter your nose. So, so far, it's nice. Um, the stand is very stable, doesn't wobble back and forth. And I think it's, I think it's pretty nice. Now, as far as $38, uh, you know, from what I've seen online and from other wine glasses I've reviewed, okay, I can go for that. But, of course, it's $28 on the manufacturer's website. So, uh, as I said, lead-free, 
The glass holds 21 ounces and it's made for a red wine. Um, dishwasher safe, but they do recommend hand washing. So that's about it guys. Um, I'm gonna try this today and uh, and as far as the stem goes, or the leg, it's not, no, in no way, shape or form is it is it thin. Uh, it's graduated slightly, coming from the top a little wider than it is as it goes down. But uh, it's very stable in the hand and it actually feels thin if you hold the glass. It actually feels thin, but it also does not feel like it's gonna snap on you or anything like that. And if you do hand wash it, of course, I'll go ahead and dirty the glass for you. Um, you never want to hold it by the by the leg or the stem and clean. What you want to do is hold it by the bowl, okay, and then clean. You get more of a more stability to it and less chance of snapping your glass. And yeah, I have done that. So that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for checking out the Desert Wine Guy. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll speak to you later.